if you are somebody who is young and is attempting as best you can, given the uncertainty and the, the cloud of mystery that surrounds ALS, and it, you know, would like to live a life as best you can to prevent the probability that this may afflict you at some point in your in your life. What are the you know few things that you might recommend considering adopting as habits or lifestyle changes that might increase the likelihood that you never have to deal with this? Sure. I think I would give two different answers depending if you um, come from a family with a known gene, right? Where you're in the ten percent, or if you're if you have nobody in your family with it. I think if you have a known family history, then you want to um, be very thoughtful about things like avoid uh, head trauma, maybe avoid extreme athleticism, um, and you know have a healthy diet, um, sleep well, do all the things that we think actually keep your brain healthy. Um, and I do think eventually we're going to have prevention trials for those people with the gene therapies uh, to try to you know prevent the illness from starting in the first place. Hmm. But for the other people where there's no family history, I think the chances, first of all, you're getting ALS are very small. It's still a rare illness. Um, but I think in general, a healthy lifestyle where you don't smoke, where you sleep well, you eat well, um, and you diminish stress all those things are, you know, they're in your control a little bit and they, they're good for general brain health as well as, you know, preventing ALS. Hmm. 